Welcome to episode 50. I didn't think I would ever make it this far, but it's been fun doing this. Uh, today we're sort of trying to put some finishing touches to the layout. Hopefully we'll get it in a position where maybe soon we can have our opening ceremony. Okay, I've got some buffer stops that I need to paint, so I'm going to paint them black. So, a little bit of black paint. Yes, thank you, Ruby. Uh, we're going to mix around the paint. That's it. A little bit of water. Okay, Ruby, you can come and paint in a minute. So, water it down a little bit so it's not so thick. And then now we can go ahead and start painting our uh, buffer stops. There you go. Just a light coating. So buffer stops quite often are black. So I'm going to paint these all black. Oh, you can see that there. There you go, that's looking a bit better than the light grey version. I didn't like the light grey. Okay, I need to sort out the dog, so <laughs> moving on. So I have three mostly painted uh, black buffers, a little bit where I was just holding it. I'm gonna have to paint a little bit on that um, once it's all dried off, and then we can install them on the layout. Well, I found a, another tank in the box, so we can get him out, put him somewhere. Maybe he's on that road with the, uh, the other trucks. Uh, and also, I found this little post box that I bought a while back, or post van, sorry. So maybe he's doing a journey going up the hill to the house or the cottage on the church. So we can put him there. So he's doing his little journey to take the post up to that cottage. I'm going to plant some trees in this middle section. So I'm going to start in the middle with one of the bigger trees and then just work my way out. So I'm going to drill the holes. Uh, I'm going to put in a little temporary stick just so I know where the hole is and then put some brown stuff around the hole um, and then uh, glue the trees in. We better get some bushes down as well. So I've got some my glue, glue down the little bushes between the trees, otherwise I won't be able to get there afterwards. I can put down some little weeds as well in a few places. Well, a while back we made a bunch of grass tufts, so I'm going to use my tweezers and I'm going to put some grass tufts down all between the bushes and around that particular area. Here's my little copse uh, or trees, a bunch of trees, uh, mostly completed. I have noticed that there's quite some big gaps at the bottom of the trees, so if I put like the little bus behind, then it sort of distracts people's attention from the gaps. So. I don't know how I fill in the gaps, I think, or something. Maybe it's okay to have the gaps and put some cows behind there in the field and the fence, things like that. But yeah, I'm generally happy. I think I, I ran out of the, um, the silver birch tree, so on the left-hand side I put some small trees. It's a little bit different, but hey, I'm quite pleased with that. And at least I'm getting to plant some of the, the trees on the layout. So I'll put in six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven trees in that little centerpiece. So it doesn't take long to use those trees up. So Sylvia and I better start making a few more trees. 
we've planted our little copse of trees to the left of the small station. So these are uh, glued, glued down. Uh, and you see under there, I've put some little bushes and things around the trees. I put a bit of brown cover uh, at the bottom for the roots as well. Hopefully all that glue will hold uh, and the trees will stay there without falling over. You may well notice an addition to the left of the church that I've planted my weeping willow tree. Put some uh, cover down again. Actually, I sprinkled down some leaves as well, like they've fallen off the trees. So yeah, it looks pretty good. Um, I'm going to think about putting a fence in front of that, so I might do that at some point. We've got a tree planted to the uh, left and in front of the cottage as well. And I've got another little silver birch at the back waiting to go in. So I may well do that next. One little silver birch planted. Well, you may remember a while back we bought some fencing. So I've started looking at the fences and where I'm going to put them. So they come in a, a little box, obviously all, uh, all made up. You've got to cut them apart. So I use my little cutters to cut the, uh, the ends off so we can cut them all apart. And you can see there's spare um, fence posts on here as well, extra fence posts. So we can you know, put extra pieces on there. And then of course we have to assemble it. So here's one that I've already assembled. So put all the little put the little posts uh, in in the middle on the back, and then you've got the uh, the posts on the front, post on the end. We've got to put on as well, which is very fiddly. The whole thing, to be honest with you, is extremely fiddly. It's all tight, so tiny you can see the size of it compared to my finger. So very very tiny. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use our little pin vise. So I'm going to use that to make some holes so we can put the, the little posts in. So this is tiny, this is less than a millimetre, I think it's 0.7 of a millimetre drill. So I'm going to drill some little holes and then we'll place that fence. This one's going up near the church. I've added a few little bushes and some weeds and things. So I'm going to hoover off the excess weeds, although it does look okay actually. Um, so yeah, there's our little fence, first little fence put in. Just going to tape up this track uh, to cover it up because I'm going to spray some glue down here and I don't think I'm going to make it without making a mess. So the other one was a little bit easier to spray away from. I need to be careful on my viaduct as well, I think. So let me put some paper over the viaduct. Better safe than sorry. I want to make up some little lines of grass that I can put down the gaps, some sort of straight lines. So I'm going to go and see if I can do that. So instead of doing little dots on my paper, I'm going to make some lines and we'll see how that will come out. Now, I don't know if you can see that okay. Yeah, they seem to have come out quite well. So yeah, I'm quite happy with how that looks. It's now whether I can, once it's dry, if we can pull it off and stick it down in between the row. Got my little grass tufts made. So the ones in the middle, I put some black grass in, like it's all a bit burnt. So you see it's a bit darker. 
So I'll put that near where some of the engines start up in the morning because sometimes the grass gets a bit burnt. Well, I've wound one armature for a new tree, a technique that I got from Luke Town off the internet. So I've just painted it with some gesso. This is the first coat. It's going to need another, probably a couple of coats, I should think. Anyway, it's looking okay. Not bad for my first project. It's taken me about two hours to get this far. So we're learning as we go. But yeah, something different, slightly different looking armature. So I've spray painted my little trees brown. So you can see, not white anymore. I've just been painting the, um, the armature a different color. And you see, I've got my helping hand out. I've had that out for a while. So it's given me a helping hand painting the tree. I'm going to put down some of these grass tufts that I made, uh, the long ones. So here's one of my little trees, wire trees that I made the other day, uh, the Luke Town method. So it's okay, I've got another one going as well, so um, I made two. So this one doesn't look too bad, but maybe I'll move it to somewhere else. Well, Sylvia very kindly painted me some telephone boxes and made them for me. So there's one here at the main station. There is one over by the church, if you see in the corner. And then I have one more down at the little country station. Well, thanks for watching today. We'll see you next time. Yeah.